when my apron comes off, I am a creative. So I just love to do different things. What I would want to give back to my community the most would be a strong image of someone who lives in the community, um, someone who may not have the same representation around them, and just in keep inspiring people to do what they love to do. Having a strong representation for myself, for my family, for my community, for other people like me is something that I really strongly stand by. My name is Jack Roberts Pond. <laughs> um, I'm from the Bronx. My position at the restaurant is a server, and I've been here for two years. My family is um, such a, a diverse melting pot in itself. My, fa my mom's family is from Barbados and Panama, and my dad's family is from Liberia, but also from the South. So growing up in the kitchen with my multiples, with my grandmas and my cousins and my aunts, and they were all really hands-on, um, especially the females in my family, they were just rooted in the kitchen. I grew up like with different spices, different flavors, different influences. You had Caribbean, you had um, Latina, you had African. I actually um, teach my little brothers that as well to be in the kitchen. I finished college about two years ago, and I just you know wanted to be in my community because I also grew up in Harlem. I grew up on 19th and Lenox, so I remember that this restaurant was here, and I was like, this would be a great time to just, you know, get back to the community and be right in the center of where I grew up. Um, I just loved always coming back to this hub right here, 125th and Lenox. Working at Red Rooster has always been interesting and fun, and every day is different. Um, I really, really enjoy the cultural aspect of it. We have so many different people here from different walks of life. Um, I meet so many different people every single day as I'm serving them. My day-to-day, -day really, at Red Rooster would be just making sure that they feel at home because it's such a homey and welcoming place, and the cuisine that we have is also comforting, and it's always exciting to be here. I always been interested in my skin. <laughs> it sounds kind of weird, but when I was really, really young, I had a condition where you lose some of your hair, and I also had really bad dry skin and eczema. So it was always hard for me to find certain products that can work for my skin, work for my hair, work for um, my, my family as well. So what got me started with my skincare, it just stemmed when I was younger, looking for different things. What can help me, what can, what can fix this problem that I had. So one day my little brother and I were in the kitchen and my mom is giving my little brother a bath and he gets out the bath and she's lotioning him up and we notice that he starts having a rash um, on his skin. Um, and at that moment I knew that I needed to create something to help him um, fight whatever it was. So what I decided to do was um, talk to my little brothers, I'm like, hey, we should make something that can help us and our skin flourish. Red Rooster has definitely been a, a place where I can foster my creative juices and different projects that I've worked on. I know, I remember when I first started here, there was an employee, Imani, she has her own skincare line as well, and it was so much fun meeting her and being around like-minded individuals who share your interest and share your vision. I admire that, so I'm like, oh, I can do it because she's doing it as well. That's something that is also very live in Harlem. They have so many different vendors and small businesses and different people on, you know, 125th and Lenox and um, all around the community who are also working hard to create their businesses. A lot of the vendors in Harlem, they get some of their stuff from home. 
and home may be Senegal and may be Nigeria. And a lot of African countries have really good um, plants and herbs that will help the skin. Different natural vitamins in the skincare line really helped combat the dryness and the itchiness and all of that. So I have a body butter and I also have a body scrub. Um, and those are sourced and uh, locally and also with all natural products. I want to source different products from different countries that I've grown to love and may have may have grown around people who are from them like Panama or Barbados and use products from them use products from those islands to make my skincare different I'm the one doing marketing I'm the one doing branding I'm the one doing packaging I'm the one doing test shoots and products so I love the journey of it um, that's also why I got my little brothers into kind of being hands-on with it because I also want them to be um, aware that they can do what they love at any age. I really enjoy the process of trying to find something for everyone. Everybody's skin is completely different. You may have dry skin, I may have dry skin, but our dryness may be different. And I really like doing custom orders because I make that it's a way for me to connect with my guests and my clientele, so that's always really fun. On my Instagram, I do open my DMs for anyone to message me on anything they may have a question. I love the ability to have such a broad reach but just a small little phone. <laughs> um, but also that's something that I'm passionate about, like community and connecting. And being here is great because I get to do all those things. Mm -hmm.